Have you ever wondered how some creatures of the deep manage to thrive amidst dangerous predators? Today we dive into the vibrant yet perilous world of the anemone fish, commonly known as the clownfish, and their remarkable partners, the sea anemones. This is no ordinary friendship, it's a unique and fascinating symbiotic relationship where both parties benefit. The sea anemone, with its venomous tentacles, is a formidable predator in the underwater realm. Yet, the anemone fish, with its vibrant orange and white stripes, has learned to call these deadly arms home. How so, you ask? Well, the anemone fish is covered in a protective mucus layer, making it immune to the anemone's lethal sting. It's this clever adaptation that allows the anemone fish to seek shelter amidst the anemone's tentacles, safe from the prying eyes of predators. In the grand scheme of life underwater, anemone fish and sea anemones are the epitome of the survival of the fittest mantra. Now let's dive deeper into the life of an anemone fish. Our journey begins with the birth of a tiny anemone fish. Born as free-floating larvae, they're carried by the currents until they find a suitable home among the venomous tentacles of sea anemones. This selection isn't random. In fact, anemone fish have a keen sense to identify the species of anemone that their ancestors have partnered with for generations. Once they've chosen their anemone home, the anemone fish undergo a delicate process of acclimatization. They gently touch the anemone's tentacles with different parts of their bodies, gradually building up immunity to the anemone's deadly sting. This process can take several hours, but once it's complete, the anemone fish has a safe haven and a buffet of food scraps provided by the anemone. When it comes to the mating rituals of anemone fish, they're quite unique. They're sequential hermaphrodites, meaning they can change their sex according to their social environment. In a typical anemone fish community, the largest fish is the dominant female. When she dies, the dominant male changes sex and takes her place. The rest of the males then move up a rank in the hierarchy. As for their roles within the anemone community, anemone fish are protectors and providers. They defend their anemone home from polyp-eating fish, and in turn, their waste provides essential nutrients for the anemone. It's a symbiotic relationship where both parties benefit. However, life isn't all easy for these vibrant creatures. They face numerous dangers from predatory fish to human activities like pollution and climate change, but their symbiotic relationship with anemones offers them a safe refuge. When danger approaches, anemone fish swiftly retreat into the anemone's toxic tentacles, where predators dare not follow. Indeed, the life of an anemone fish is a fascinating tale of survival, partnership, and adaptation. The intricate dance between anemone fish and their anemone partners is a testament to the wonders of nature and the remarkable adaptations that allow life to thrive under the sea. So, what makes this bond between anemone fish and sea anemones so special? In the vast oceanic realm, survival can often hinge on unlikely alliances. The relationship between anemone fish and sea anemones is a prime example of this. These two very different creatures have developed a remarkable partnership, a symbiotic relationship that benefits both parties. Anemone fish, with their vivid colors and bold stripes, bring food to the anemone, and in return, the anemone provides a safe haven from predators, but the partnership goes deeper. The anemone fish also play housekeeper, removing debris and parasites that could potentially harm the anemone. And what does the anemone fish get in return? A home among the anemone's venomous tentacles, a refuge where few other creatures dare to venture. This gives the anemone fish a secure place to live and breed, away from the threats that lurk in the open ocean. In the vast and dangerous ocean, the unique bond between anemone fish and sea anemones is a testament to the power of cooperation and symbiosis.